Okay, welcome back to my channel again, um, the place where I review all my new pickups, which is what today's video is for. Um, but then I also go into all other things, you know, sneaker and streetwear and generally menswear related. So we'll cover off things like sizing tips, where I make sense to, my silhouette collections that you've seen before. I'm going to be rejuvenating that as I add more and more pairs. So those videos will be coming back. And then dipping into some other things like emerging trends and just like my, my clothing collections and things like that. So cool, without any further ado, fit pick up here as I grab the box. Um, and today it is the Pinnacle uh, Air Max 1s from 2008, I wanna say, 2007, sorry, 2018 even. Um, the Kith Mesh Jordan shorts in the Tornado Green. And then it's just a simple cream, cream cotton on tee. It is so hot um, at the moment in, in Northern Texas that um, you can't really wear much else, to be honest. It's all um, like shorts and thin t-shirts from here on out until September. So cool, let's get into the box. So just as I open this, give a bit of a spiel about how I got these. So this is a cop off of the Finish Line app. Um, these actually sat. So it's, they were easy to get. Um, box is upside down. Sneak peek. As you can see, finish line here. Um, and here we have the box. I'll put the box on top of the box. It came in the shipping box. Um, yeah, so here it is. Um, as I said, they sat on finish line. I actually managed to use a $10 code, I think it was. So I got these $10, $10 off. I have seen these actually on Millennium Shoes since, I'll ping an image up here, where they had a $20 off sale code already on them, which was a bit crazy. Um, but yeah, um, just thought that was worth noting. Um, could have a look and see whenever you see this video if they're still there. Here is the box. So you see this lovely mocha color at the front. The rest of the box in the typical new style is three quarters in the predominant color of the shoe, which we have here, cream. And then the accent color, which on the Jumpman, which is gold. So I think they've done this box perfectly. I've complained in the past on other videos that like this portion here is like black and there is like no predominant black on the shoe. It didn't make sense, but I think they've Got the proportions here perfect. I did actually double up completely by accident. I entered a raffle and ended up winning it. So um, another pair will be turning up. There's a few dents in the box here, so I might um, just you know take the best box, take the best left shoe, left best right shoe, um, and return the rest. Cool. Um, let's get them out. So typical box. It's got some red, um, uh, like kind of factory stuff on there and then the typical green one inside i'll get both shoes out so what these bad boys are are the palomino jordan threes now palominos as i've seen a load of videos on these i'll put some imagery up here but they are horses well it's a color of a horse the name of the color of a horse so um this i think this um material on the toe box here is that Palomino color. So I've got the image stood up, we should be able to compare. I'm just gonna get one out of the way and we can look at the other one. It's a easier here. Um, so yeah, you have what looks like actually quite a crackly um, suede leather. Um, I will uh, insert some images just up here of each thing that I talk about, just so you can get a much closer view. Um, you've got the mocha color on the elephant print and then actually in the true blue blocking style, you also have that up at the eyelets. Um, the gold hit I mentioned in the box is because you have a gold jump man on the front and on the back, um, which is quite cool. And then a slightly darker um, brown. So you've got four browns, actually. You've got one on the um, sock liner. You've got one here on the ankle and tongue. So that's two three um, on the main upper, four in the elephant print, and actually five, a much richer brown um, on that midsole. 
Um, so yeah, the look just looking across the two shoes, the QC looks pretty decent. I've had a few other buddies pick theirs up and they've said that the crackling is very different on the two shoes. Looks pretty good here. Yep, um, and then to just to finish off the outsole, as you can see, dark brown, light brown, and cream. Cool. Um, now that we've covered off the shoe, I am going to compare these to the other um, brown Jordan 3s that I have. So just bear with me one second. A few moments later. So here are the four. Four very different colorways, as you can generally see. Let me see how to pick this up here. Okay, here we go. Hopefully I don't drop anything. But you've got four very, very different kind of colorways, as you can see from the front. They're kind of like wearer's perspective. Um, dark brown, middle, light brown, and then white with brown hips. Um, so one of the things to note, if you're thinking about the elephant print, as you can see here, the elephant print is much lighter and more two-toned on these Palominos than it is on the Mochas. And these are the Mochas from 2018 um, and 2000 and whatever it was, 2001, I can't remember. But um, it's much lighter and more two-toned than that. There is really like no comparison versus the, um, the winterized Archeo. Very, very different colors. Very, very different um, uh, colorways across pretty, pretty much every factor. And then again, very, very different to the Bio Beige, although this um, ankle collar is actually very similar. The ankle collar on the Bio Beige is um, a more leather kind of consistency. And obviously you have the, the Nike Air on the back, but um, definitely in the, the spirit of the pre-2000 um, shape and these two I way prefer the shape on the other two shoes although I know these might be you know slightly better colorways in some people's minds um, so yeah they're, they're the four um, hopefully we've got some good footage there um, on what they look like I can maybe insert a few pictures of them um, around the edges so cool um, I am gonna get these out of the way and then we're gonna make one other comparison a few moments later Final comparison that we're going to make is, as you can see here, to the Armand Manier Jordan 1. Again, I will likely fire some imagery in and around the edges of this video just to give much better, more crisp, because it comes better in pictures than, than in video. But here is a bit of a close-up um, on the two. You can see the crackling um, is much more pronounced, I would say, on the Manier 1s than it is on the Palomino 3s. Um, this is a collab, so generally the quality is slightly better. Um, also very similar colour to the uppers um, on, 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 the, on, the, on both shoes. Even. Um, the toe box might also be a good look here. You can see just how much more crackly the Manier ones are. Cool, okay, so I'm just going to finish this up with a really close up 360. Um, view um, of the shoes and I'll just kind of run with some commentary through um, the different parts. A few moments later. Okay, so here we see the Palominos right up close and if I come in here you can really start to see that crackling on the upper hair um, in that Palomino colour. As I said earlier, it is way less crackly than the Anamania ones but it's also still quite crackled. So as I said as well, you have this mocha colored and then the much, much darker, almost like a coffee, like a coffee with no, no milk um, on the midsole, off-white midsoles themselves. We keep turning this around. We have that kind of creamed out back tab and a gold jump man. So I haven't heard anyone describe what the gold is meant to represent, but it does look quite nice. Same thing on the inside again. There you go. There's probably the best view on this pair of the Crackling. And as I said, I have two pairs, another pair coming up. I'll probably choose the two that have the most similar Crackling. Gold Jumpman. That newer 2020 lower cut elephant print, which they keep doing. And as you can see, really daggery, sharp toe box, which I really love. 
Um, yeah, that's the full 360. Oh, one other point here, you do have this slightly special feature on the insole. The insoles are that dark brown that we see in the sock liner. What does it say here? So it says, Club Jordan Air Flight. Um, but yeah, not a huge amount to write home about there. Oh, and then the whole, the rest of the tongue here is all perforated and it's all again in that lighter brown. So yeah, that's it. Um, that's it for the video, that's it for the review. Over and out.